there guys welcome back to another video of all things apple plus it's been a minute but i wanted to give you guys just a quick update in the how-to video all wrapped in the one about the newest jailbreak and the whole situation going down with the jailbreak so currently panda own has actually did he's he's gone tweet after tweet after tweet and everybody's just going crazy after what's going on with ios 12.4 so if you navigate over into twitter and you Actually, I'll leave his Twitter handle and his the link to his page in the description down below. So make sure you, you check that out. There was a vulnerability that was placed in iOS 12.4, not by purpose, but it was an accident. Some people believe that iOS 12.4 was originally iOS 12.3, and this vulnerability to jailbreak has become available to those that are on A7 to A11 chip devices. So if you are running on an older device like an iPhone 7, 8, or even the 10, you can even jailbreak your iPhone currently at this moment. And I'll leave links to Tweakbox and to IPA, uh, to the IPA box. They'll be in the description down below. You just need to navigate over there, download the jailbreak and initiate the jailbreak and you're good to go. Now, uh, for those that are on 12.4, now, if you're on an earlier version of iOS 12.0, stay there. If you're on iOS 12.0 to 12.2, stay there. But if you're on a newer version, like iOS 13, downgrade back to 12.4, which I'm gonna be showing you guys in a little bit later in, in the video, but downgrade back to 12.4 because there's this vulnerability and there's a possibility, we're not sure yet at the moment, but at this point, there may be a vulnerability for iOS 12 to be jailbroken on A12 devices. So your XR, XS, and your XS Max devices will be able to jailbreak on that firmware. And iOS 12.4 is actually a very solid firmware. And if you are able to jailbreak, it's a very stable firmware to jailbreak on. So hopefully there will come a time where you are able to do that. Now with the release of the Apple card and everything too for iOS 12.4, you're not gonna miss out on that either. So that was also a big and a funny thing that was just people were talking about earlier today but uh, let's go ahead and get into the video and the, go into the how-to part of the video we are going to navigate to over to ipsw.me and with this site you're able to download and install or download ipsw uh, files so any of your firmware files that are able or OS files that are able to be signed that are signed right now you can download those so like iOS 12.4 you can download that from this site based off of your based off of your device and then jail not jailbreak but downgrade or even upgrade to that OS so if you're on iOS 13 like I am currently at the moment you can plug in your phone downgraded 12.4 because it's currently being signed at this moment so as of Wednesday when I'm uploading this video that that OS is being currently signed we are not sure when I when Apple is gonna release a 12.4.1 fixing the vulnerability fixing the jailbreak vulnerability so make sure that you get in on this right now now I'm currently running Catalina on my MacBook Pro so I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to do this so if you are on if you're running Catalina on your MacBook Pro, make sure that you navigate over to Finder, and then through Finder, you'll be able to see your device, uh, your device's profile. If you are not running Catalina and you're on, you know, Mac OS Mojave or, or what have you, you can uh, go to iTunes and you'll be able to locate your device's profile from there. And then make sure that you hit the Option button and click on Restore after you've downloaded that profile or after you've downloaded that IPSW file. So. First, you want to make sure, again, go to IPSW.me. Links will be in the description down below. Download the correct firmware or the, the correct OS software for your device, so 12.4, and then make sure you navigate over to Finder if you're in Catalina or iTunes if you're on Mojave or anything lower than that. And then make sure you hit the option and make sure that you do click on Restore and it will bring up a prompt for you to restore your device to that firmware and you'll be able to choose the actual IPSW file that you've downloaded from IPSW.me. Now, after you've, I'm gonna actually go ahead and switch over real quick and uh, kind of speed up the process because for my computer, it's a little bit slower of a process. If you do have a faster computer or if you are running on the latest uh, and greatest of MacBooks and your your version or your, your MacBook should run a lot faster than mine. But 
once you find your file and once you this is actually the process of actually finding my file so it's under the download section you'll notice that here is the actual IPSW file you can click on that that's not a file that's grayed out it's actually bolded in white where you're able to restore to that so all you need to do is just make sure that you do hit that restore button I would recommend though to anybody who does this make sure that you do back up your device just in case if you want to keep pictures or you know certain applications on your device uh, if you want a fresh restart on your application on your device, you can do that as well. I did that. I like having a fresh restart from time to time on my device. But I would recommend anybody that has any sort of sensitive material or sensitive um, data on their phone, make sure that you do back it up, and then make sure that you back up after the fact when you've uh, downgraded back to iOS 12.4. Now, from there, we're gonna go ahead, and you'll notice that your device will populate eventually back on. To finder or into the or into itunes so again if you're on catalina go ahead and go under finder your device will populate there and then if you're on mojave it will populate uh from after restarting and rebooting it'll populate in itunes as well so all you'll need to do is just make sure that you check on your device from time to time it is a little bit of a lengthy process depending on your download speeds and depending on uh, how fast your computer is running so this whole process for me took about i would say 15 20 minutes to complete and it wasn't that bad so i didn't want to i didn't want to film everything when it came to downgrading to 12.4 so i'm just kind of giving you the quick highlights of everything as well too so make sure that you guys do download a 12.4 if you're on ios 13 uh, or any on the newer betas or even if you're on the developer betas if you're looking to jailbreak if you're not looking to jailbreak go and stay on there enjoy ios 13 there's a lot to offer with ios 13 but as of right now it is very rare that a a, a, a signed os is jailbreakable so get on ios 12.4 as soon as possible if you are on an older firmware stay there and then as you can see here after reiterating all that you can actually see that the device is ready to go ahead and be restarted or to be restarted as a new device or you can choose one of your backups from the past so i hope you guys did like this video if you guys did if you guys have any questions concerns comments please let me know in the comment section down below i'll be more than happy to assist you guys but from all things apple plus please make sure you guys like comment subscribe check out my other videos Happy jailbreaking to those that are on A7 to A11 devices, and I'll be catching you guys on the next video. Peace.